So hi, Peter. Hi. We are here on the uh, Tasty Chips booth. We are. And you've got something very new to show us, right? True. This is the GR Mega, right? Exactly. It's our flagship model uh, granular synthesizer. And, uh, well, it has uh, many uh, modulation options, a huge mod matrix that can do basically everything a complete synth can do. Um, you can use it, it's intended for a complex sound design based on samples. So uh, you have a bunch of LFOs, like four, you have 80 mod destinations, four envelopes, one is freely assignable. You got a huge amount of granular parameters, uh, step sequencer here, uh, dual filter, low pass and high pass. You got a big menu. You got uh, like seven effects of which you can use four in parallel. Uh, 128 presets, multiple projects, etc., etc. So uh, let's hear a bit of it first. Take it away, Luke. Yeah, slice mode. So, Peter, can you uh, just talk about? kind of some of the architecture and what's going on and how the sounds are ger generated there? Uh, this is a granular synthesizer and uh, it's massively polyphonic. Um, you basically put in samples, uh, you can slice them up, but you can also use the entire sample. Um, so grains are generated in the sample and then can be randomized in position. And then they're mixed together to form, yeah, what you hear and the output. So, so the grains is what we can see, kind of the blue pieces jumping exactly. around, right? Yeah, exactly. So this is how the um, the sounds are generated. How how else can we kind of uh, interact with them on the instrument? Um, well, you can you can interact with uh, the main slider, for instance. Set the start position like this, and um, let's have a look for a granular patch. Take it. Press speel maar met die granular parameters. You randomize the starting position using a spray, so you get this big rectangle. You can set scan to move it around automatically. 
can also uh, randomize the panning and also modulate the panning. It's basically now scanning through a song and firing grains uh, where it uh, can find them. And you can set grains to fire in reverse or forward and also uh, give that a probability distribution so half half or completely forward or completely backward you can scan to a piece of music without affecting pitch higher speeds or lower speeds making granular stretches Panning is modulated. So, in terms of uh, things like the step sequencer, what, yes. what kind of uh, operations do we have there? Oh, a lot. Uh, we have a 64-step uh, step sequencer. Uh, you have to scroll indeed. So can we um, modulate uh, parameters as well with this sequencer? Yes, uh, we left them out here, but there are four rows to uh, modulate with. Yeah. Brilliant. So um, in terms of the kind of back end of things, what have you done? Because obviously this is um, a development of the GR1, right? Yeah, it's an evolution. Um, it's a but it's actually a complete rewrite and redesign everything. So we, we designed it to make it more musically usable uh, in the broadest sense, so more rhythmical and more melodic. But also uh, the, the engine is completely recoded. It used to be C, C++, now it's all Rust, basically. And that means it's more reliable and even faster. So, uh, yeah. Brilliant. So, uh, are you kind of where are you? Is this a kind of production prototype? Are we? This is this a finished model? What? It's yeah, kind of like a qualification model, I would say. It's it's not. We want to redesign. Uh, let's say the graphics on the front panel it needs to be a little bit smaller still, that like flatter. Um, maybe some wooden side panels, that kind of stuff. But yeah, we need to do some work on the electronics still, but the software is, yeah, I would say like 80 or 90% finished. So we're looking to release this at the end of the year. Brilliant. And uh, do you have a kind of price aim that you're going to aim towards? Like uh, 1,800 euros probably. Brilliant. Wow, Peter. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. No problem. <laughs>